So hello friends this is Rupesh you are watching CV Nerds video series on array interview question series and this is the similar question but with negative numbers so find the sub array with given sum of integer numbers in array so let's say this is your array and if i tell you that okay find the sub array maybe this or maybe this you know what sub array is right i'll give the index 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 so sum is minus 10 So answer is this guy from here to here. So you have to return one and three. So this is the problem because if you will add these numbers, the sum is minus ten. So there is a brute force approach for this, and for that we will have two for loops. Let's say we have these two for loops. We will start from here in the first for loop, and we will keep on checking every other element in the. second for loop and keep on adding all these numbers and see if that sum is equal to minus 10 if it is not and we reach till the end we will shift this marker here and we will keep on adding this and this and this and this and likewise we'll go ahead like this you will end up having all the different combinations of sub array and you will know the answer but this is the brute force approach and generally people are not happy with this okay so good working solution is so this optimized solution is not that easy and don't get disappointed if you don't understand this in the first attempt or you could not think of it the idea is going to be like this we will have a hash map or map or an ordered map so let's keep it very simple we'll keep a map and the point is you know this right like this is the answer okay so 1 and 3 is the answer now the point is we will start from the beginning like from here okay so just draw this imaginary line i don't know this is, should be straight but haha <laughs> okay so we'll start from here and keep on adding the subsequent numbers okay so we'll call that let's say uh current sum so that is going to be current sum plus is equal to arr of i okay we'll keep on doing this in the for loop and the moment we will reach here we will know the answer that okay what is that so the magic what we are going to use here is little bit tricky we'll do this and we'll do one more important thing updating the map so you have a map here right map of current sum equal to i so this is going to be the index so basically what we are going to store in the map is first 2 and then index is going to be 0 and then 2 plus 12 meaning 14 and then index is going to be 1 and then addition of all three so that is going to be 12 and index is going to be 2 so we have prepared this right it is very clear we were just consecutively adding all the subsequent numbers and creating this map now the catch is we are going to use the technique that i told you right the moment we will reach here we will know the answer so the technique is the moment you are reaching here you have already added all the numbers till this point so let's say your number is denoting this complete length so this is your current sum my sum is this right sum because our sum is minus 10 and this much is actually sum so we have two things available sum and current sum if i tell current sum minus sum is available in map then i know that i have just reached the end boundary of the array and the start boundary is the value of this map so this is the key part the value is this guy because we are starting with zero so you have to always return plus 1 from here so it's like I'm starting from beginning and keep on adding all these numbers and keep checking current sum minus sum exist in my map and I'll update map like this. So the idea is if I have this number available I mean this portion or this portion available in the map meaning I already have it because I have just subtracted sum from current sum. so tricky right and this will only work i mean this technique will only work when we have uh, negative numbers in this if all are like positive then this is not going to work 
So I'll repeat again. If I have reached by adding all the numbers at this location where I'm supposed to say that, okay, I'm done. I have already found the end and the sub array is somewhere here. If I'm supposed to tell that, then this current sum minus sum value existing in the map will hold true. So let's look at the code now. Code is very simple. We have an ordered map here. Current sum is initially zero, obviously. And we'll just do current sum is equal to current sum plus array of i. We'll just check that. If current sum have already reached to the sum, if it is, then we'll just simply print that and return. If it is not, this is the map where you will say current sum minus sum exist. If it exists, then we have found that. And I told you, right? We have to do plus one. So here we are doing plus one and I is the end index. And we'll just say that, okay, we have found it like the start index and the end index and we'll just return it. Otherwise, if this condition also not true, we will insert the element key is going to be current sum and value is going to be index. And if you just exhaust all the elements in the array and you never go return, then in the end, you will just say, okay, no sub array exist for the given sum. Cool, right? Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next videos. Bye bye. Take care.